What's up guys? So Cyrax deleted his YouTube and then waited a day and created a new one to whine again. This time, stop painting me as the bad guy. So let's check it out. All right, what's up guys? So, I'm gonna make this one video on this channel and that's it. After this video, I'm not speaking about this subject ever again. But I do feel free to be talking about So here we go. They win car. They're a lying fucking sack of shit. Making up all these lies to these trolls. You wanna know when I really started getting violent? I got violent when all this trolling shit started. That's when I got violent. You were arrested in 2012 for beating your own grandmother. But please, go on about how you weren't violent till this started. So you can shut the fuck up about that. And as far as I'm concerned, Daylin, you're dead to me. You are not my family. Especially after seeing how you stabbed both me and mom in the fucking back. And as for you, death by design, you know what's funny about you, motherfucker? The fact that you think you're some righteous good guy. You're not. You're a fucking asshole. You're a fucking internet bully. And you know what's funny? You guys tell me to take responsibility for my actions, right? Take accountability, right? Do you know how many times I've sat there and said on live stream that I was sorry for what I've done? How many times I've said that I was sorry for my mistakes. And then you immediately turn around and blame someone else for causing you to do that. Which is why everyone knows you're not actually sorry, you just want to shift the fucking blame. But what y'all don't seem to fucking understand is this. Everybody makes mistakes. Everyone. That doesn't mean we should be held down to them. And the only reason why I did what I did this whole time is because I was manipulated, I was bullied, I was harassed, and I was blackmailed. See, you can't even go fucking two sentences without blaming someone else for the shit you do. And you know what's fucked up? You guys get to get away with it while I get to suffer. And that's not right. It's not. It's really not okay what you guys do. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to a fucking group home. At all. Because after this court date and I get back home, I'm going to make damn sure to set my life on the right track where it should have been the whole time. You know what's really fucked up? You guys tell me to take accountability for my actions, but yet none of you take accountability for what you do. You guys sit there and tell me to stop raging out, stop doing this, stop doing that. Well, maybe if you fucking trolls stopped harassing me and bullying me, I would stop acting the way that I do. See, that's how this works. You guys sit there, you attack me, over and over, you harass me, put my family in danger, but yet, when I fight back and I defend myself, you guys get mad. You guys get angry. But you don't get it. You spent years threatening people and raging out online and showing everybody that they can just get you to rage out by making fun of you. It's fucking years you spent. You don't get to just turn around now and say, okay, everybody, leave me alone and I'll stop. It's too fucking late for that. And you guys try to paint me as the bad guy. But who's the real bad guy here, motherfuckers? The ones that sits there and rages out and fires back? Or the one that does the fucking bullying. Oh, and by the way, those threats that I make are only made because you guys push me to that point. That's the only reason why I do any of that. Because you guys sit there and you bully me and you back me into a corner over and over and over and over again. That's the only reason why I do it. You really think I like making threats? You really think I like being angry? No. 
But you guys fucking push me to that point, man. And yet, you don't take accountability for what you do. You think it's funny. You think it's a game. Ha ha ha, laugh at the weird guy. Nah, fuck you. Fuck all y'all motherfuckers. So yeah, this is what people are talking about. You don't take any accountability. This whole time, you're blaming everybody else for everything. You didn't do anything wrong because you say so. Because you can't take accountability. What you guys do is wrong. I mean, you say that I need to get a job, that I need to find a way to make money. But every time I do that, you guys fuck me over. Every time. Just like you did with my biological father. Just like you did with my friend Brendan. That's the only reason why I can't get a regular job because I know them. Uh, pardon me, I know them well. That if I get a regular job, you guys are just gonna call up there and call up there until I get fired. So there's no point in me getting a regular job, motherfuckers. There's not. You guys sit there and you call over and over and over and over, and then eventually I'm gonna end up fired because of you guys. And where is that gonna leave me, huh? out of work so no I'm not gonna get a regular job I'm gonna fight for what I want to fucking do and if I do get a regular job it's gonna be a job that I truly enjoy that I know that you can't fuck me over out of this is just a fantasy in your head it's just a made-up explanation that you can say oh well they just get me fired anyway so I don't have to look and get a job it's just an excuse. It's just a fucking excuse why you don't have to even try. And you can sit there and play your video games and claim that's your real job because it's what you want to do. What you trolls do is wrong. Very wrong. You guys sit there and you attack people like me. And then you expect us to just sit there and be quiet? No. I'm not going to shut up and I'm not going to be quiet. And the only reason why I'm even in this position is because of Marty, Masshole, CVG, and William Gloryhole. All because I want to dance for you guys. And because I want to bow down to you, you guys did all this to set me up. Just like you did with Chris Chan. Just like you did with Heather Colonna. Just like you did with Suplex City Vlogs. And just like you did with Tony. And just like you did to Chris Chan. You mentioned Chris Chan twice, you fucking idiot. And he's the only person on that list no one has anything to do with, you fucking idiot. That's all you guys are trying to do is make me out to be the next Chris Chan and it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Because I'm trying to get my life back on track. I'm trying to give back my life that you guys stole from me all these years. I'm trying, you guys wanted me to get help, well guess what? I'm working on getting help. But what I don't need are a bunch of fucking internet asshole bullies running their mouths, sparking their shit. I mean, you guys say you want me to work? Then let me do what I need to do to fucking work, motherfuckers. It don't matter whether it's in real life or online. Both are just as important as each other. It does matter, because being online and making money for you is playing video games for like 30 cents a day. And that's not a real job. That's why they want you to go out and get a real job in real life and stop deluding yourself that playing your guitar and fucking being terrible at video games is a job. Whether it's online or in real life, a job's a job, motherfuckers. Plain and simple. And let me tell you something, I was making money, but then you motherfuckers got greedy and hated that I was doing better for myself. I was doing way better for myself. So what'd you do? You ripped what I was doing away from me. I was making a hundred plus a fucking month on Twitch. 
I was sponsored. I was doing my thing. Doing good. But then what happened? You guys came and ripped it away from me because I was making money and you guys weren't. I was actually doing well for myself. I was doing really well for myself. But you can't stand to see me do good for myself, could you? No. So you guys came in, mass reported my shit, and made it look like I was doing shit that I wasn't doing. And what happened? I lost my job with Twitch. I get monetized on YouTube. What did you guys do? Broke into my fucking Google account and jacked my shit to where I couldn't make any money. All because y'all don't want to see me make money unless it's how you guys want to. And that's not right. I'm not your fucking puppet. I'm not your slave. I'm not your cheap ass entertainment. I'm not your dog. I'm not going to roll over when you say roll over. And you know, the only reason why I acted out the way I did was because you guys pushed me to do it. That's the only reason why I lashed out and did what I did. Did I enjoy it? No. But you guys manipulated me. You guys bullied me. You guys blackmailed me. You guys harassed me. And you guys pushed me into a corner that I didn't deserve to be pushed into. And you know, maybe if you guys shut the fuck up and left me alone when I said to leave me the fuck alone, I wouldn't be in this position. That's the only reason why I'm in this position is because of you fucking internet bullies. That's the only reason why. Because you guys don't know how to leave people alone. When someone says leave them alone, you leave them alone. And you do not bother them. Remember, Cyrax is taking accountability all the time. That's why he spent the past 12 minutes blaming everyone else for everything ever. And that's all I've ever asked of you guys, is to leave me alone and let me do my thing so I can make money, so I can make a living for myself. That's all I've ever asked. That's all I've ever asked, is to be able to be left alone, to do my thing, and to make money doing what I enjoy. But that's too good for you, ain't it? You guys don't want to see me do well for myself. You guys want to see me be your fucking monkey. You guys want to see me dance around for you and do this, that, and the other. Well, I'm sorry to say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. You guys are internet bullies. You guys cyber bullied me this whole time, and I'm tired of it. And I'm going to continue to speak out against this shit. I am going to continue to fight this. Because what you guys do to me isn't right. What you guys do to other people isn't fair. And it's not okay. Do you guys even realize how many people take their own lives every year because of bullying? Of all ages? Kids, teens, young adults? People my age, people that you guys deem to be different, people that you guys deem unworthy. Do you know how many people take their own lives every fucking day because of bullying alone? A lot more than you think. And a couple of years ago, I was almost I was almost one of them. Yeah, of course. Throwing some emotional manipulation for good measure. Everybody else is at fault for your fake suicide attempt. That was never real. It was just always you trying to manipulate people to get what you want. You guys pushed me so far that I almost took my own life twice. Because you guys bullied me to that point. I didn't ask to be bullied. I didn't walk up to you guys and say, hey, here I am, bully me. I never said that. All I've ever done is said to leave me alone and quit going after me. This whole time. The only reason why I last shot and said the shit I did 
was because I had no choice. You fucking internet bullies backed me into a fucking corner. That's when it all started. When you guys started backing me into a corner, going after my friends, going after my family, going after my job and doing shit to make it to where it was hard for me to make money. You guys took everything away from me. Everyone else just saw that fucking moth, right? Oh god, how you fucking live like that, Cyrax? You guys took my life away from me. A life that I tried to build to be able to provide for my family and myself. I mean, you guys sit there and say, well, we want you to get a job. Like I said, maybe if you guys leave me alone and let me do what I need to do to make that money, I'd have a job and there wouldn't be an issue. But most importantly, you guys need to stop coming after me. This is all bullshit. This, is, this whole case that's going on shouldn't even be happening. I shouldn't even have to go to court. I shouldn't have to deal with the shit that I deal with. But because of you guys doing what you do, I now have to deal with that. And that's not right. Like I said, you guys want somebody to take accountability for their actions, right? How about you guys look in the mirror and take accountability for your own actions? Stop painting me as the bad guy when you guys attack me and all I do is fire back. Stop painting me as the villain when you guys are the ones that are the villains. You guys are wolves in sheep's clothing. I'm not. I'm over here calling y'all out on your bullshit. That's all I'm doing. I'm calling out the bullying where I see it. And if that's a crime... Go ahead and arrest me. If standing up for the weak is a crime, then you may as well arrest me. Because I'm not going to sit here and let you all do this. So I'm going to say this one more time. Take accountability for your actions. And stop painting me as the villain when you guys are the ones that commit the crimes against me. Well, attacking someone with a bat is certainly a crime, and that's why you got arrested. But, you know, I guess everybody else is always at fault for everything that happens to Cyrax, ever, and everyone just needs to always leave him alone to be a raging little monster pedo on the internet. Just, that's all he wants. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.